We're going to talk about atoms, elements, and compounds. So you get a general idea of what comprises matter and how we define this. <coughs> when you talk about atoms, an atom is the smallest indivisible, and I'll put that in quotation marks, the smallest indivisible piece of matter. And these types of, of these uh, matter pieces, these atoms, each one of them has their own specific characteristics. Remember, physical properties. Atoms have their own physical properties. Every element is comprised of the same elements, or excuse me, same atoms that have the same physical properties. So elements, all the same elements, or all the same atoms, that have the same physical properties. Okay, and the, the way this works is that if I have, say I've got a diamond, okay? So, right, so here's a diamond, okay? terrible diamond, okay, and the diamond itself is made up of nothing but carbon. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me, the carbon diamond form here means that all of this is made up of nothing but carbon, all seeds. So diamond carbon, okay, is an element. Made up of carbon atoms. And if I have a carbon atom, I'll draw the representation of atoms that you've seen in the real for a long time. Now you've got one circle, you've got another circle, a third circle. Okay. If you've got an, uh, an atom with all these electrons flying around inside of it, we can divide it, we can break it up into parts. It's easy to knock electrons off, okay? So we can knock these electrons off. So technically we can divide the atom, the nucleus of the atom down here, is at the center, and then the outer, so outer shell is the electron cloud. The electron cloud itself, we can manipulate. We make electrons move. That's how we get electricity, right? Okay. So the electron cloud is easy to manipulate. We can knock pieces and parts off of atoms. It's harder when we get to the nucleus. The nucleus is these things that, when you end up splitting them, they tend to release a lot of energy, and you know cities explode when that happens. You get nuclear accidents, that kind of thing. And that comes from a process of nuclear fission or nuclear fusion. The nucleus is comprised of two fundamental particles. Okay? And we'll talk about each one of these here in a minute, because all of them have something important about it. There are the protons in the nucleus, and there are the neutrons in the nucleus as well. Okay? The protons in the nucleus in the nucleus define what the element is, and the neutrons are kind of the glue which holds the atom itself together. Now, if you know anything about particle physics, if you take these two things and you smash them together really fast with other atoms, they tend to break apart or explode, and other parts come out, like quarks, or muons, or gluons, or the Higgs boson, you can use these types of things you smash together, and whatever comes out, you're not going to see a lot of existence of these things. The parts that make up the protons and the neutrons, these quarks, okay, these subatomic particles, they tend to break down rather fast when they're not actually included inside of these subatomic particles. So we end up seeing the decay products. So when you hear people talking about, we found the Higgs boson, 
They didn't find the Higgs boson. What they did is they found the predicted decay pattern of a Higgs boson, and that's why CERN was so excited about what they found in their super collider a little while ago. It's because they found something that they think matches the Higgs boson. Okay. <coughs> so in chemistry, I delved into particle physics there for a second. Now we're moving back into chemistry. In chemistry, we're really interested in these three particles. All of these make up the atom. Atoms themselves make up elements. Elements comprise compounds. So if I break this, or if I take carbon, and I suddenly react it with oxygen to make carbon dioxide, what I'm doing at this point is I've got two atoms that are together to make a molecule. So this is molecule is a compound. Okay, you can have elemental com uh, compounds as well. If I have sulfur eight or sulfur flowers or carbon diamond or carbon 60 or carbon graphite, all of those are molecular elements. Or elemental molecules. All right, so just a definition there of the things that we deal with here in chemistry. All right? Okay. So let's talk about more with the atom. 